what do you guys so we've talked about the aesthetics and stuff what do you guys think of the the soundtrack and like how it's dynamic if you have was if it really want changed to. much at all I, I, uh it has a much it, it's parallel. a much it's not as changed as much as the crash games i feel yeah it's not it's not as changed it's it's more I want to say a little more atmospheric. It, it sounds less tinny than yeah, uh, the original games. Yeah, a little less games PlayStation. Do. You can argue less. Less PlayStation One. Yeah, you can audio argue less card. punch. Yeah, they uh, kept both versions like less punch of it, to it, which I appreciate. And you can change it whenever the hell you, you want. You can't use to. the original. So. Yeah, but they they that you have the option to have it be hold dynamic on. as well. So whether you're standing still or running, hold, it'll uh, up the okay, tempo. Okay, hold the fuck on. They had a dragon named Conan, Whoa. and they didn't make him a big ass muscle bound barbarian. Don't you remember? Oh, like no. I, at, we ended a part and in the original. And I was like, do they ever reference co pop culture? And then I'm like, Conan. Do they, they ever get, get pop, pop culture, culture with, with the dragon, dragon name? name? Conan. Conan. <laughs> <laughs> Ask you, you shall receive. Oh my God! He has a lame voice too. What the hell? All of the badass characters get the lamest dragons. Why? Game. <laughs> Welcome back, Welcome to, back Spyro. to Spyro, we, we saved, saved Conan. Conan. <laughs> Where's, Where's his chair? chair? He's supposed, He's supposed to, be to be whining, whining about, about becoming, becoming the king, king even though he's... Though he's uh, whatever. Do you think that was intentional? All the badass bad dragon names are out of whips. Maybe. I wouldn't be so well, they probably, they probably just came up with listening and just gave them at random. Hey, just what happens to all the badass names are utter beauty. Drag, drag, drag. Quotes. Something like that. Potentially. Potentially, who knows? And then he says, "Thank you for releasing me," with the "Thank you for releasing yep. me" voice. And I was oh, like, okay, so it's talk show, Conan. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, I, I was I, I was hoping for um, Simpsons Music Man, Conan. <laughs> Monorail. What's that word? Monorail. That reminds me, I actually need to give Conan Exiles a shot when I have sixty goddamn hours for an open world game to spare. <sighs> This guy should have been Conan. So you, said Conan. you said Conan Exiles after someone else just said Conan the talk show host, and I'm just thinking of like... <laughs> what, Jimmy Fallon man, said that he I'd wasn't watch. allowed to be on TV anymore? So he has to, <laughs> he to, talk show he has to team up with he has to team up with all the other talk show hosts in order to yeah, take Yeah, bro. Okay. Yeah, Jay yeah, Leno, uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Leno. Conan Exiles. Late night, uh, late night, uh, late night Dynasty Wars. Conan Exiles is them <laughs> trying to do the open worlds. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. The unlockable oh, is the, is, character is the, is should the, be Stephen Colbert, otherwise I'm not buying the game. No, 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 it's, um... <laughs> nah, Jon Stewart comes back. No, um... Yeah. Oh, crap, uh... Who is the, uh, like, kind of the original guy... Who was like from the sixties and seventies and stuff? Oh, um, <laughs> um, I mean David Letterman. Are, are you gonna? Oh, I mean David Letterman. No, uh, are you gonna uh, not no, rescue uh, the Carson, dragon? Johnny Carson. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, you're talking uh, Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson. That's yeah, it. Johnny Carson. Yeah. It's like, oh, this one's Maximus, isn't he? Uh, yeah, can I just it. leave him look in there? Look at that big old chin. <laughs> look at that big chin. Those birds might look tough. Twice the size of his head. You look chin. like you could that use scar a scar under his chin. Kind of makes it, ugh. Like someone was going for his neck and they missed. <laughs> Which is very hard to do for him. Yeah. I don't know, maybe he was, uh, he was much more fit in his youth, and then that scar, like, put him down for a few years, and he gained a lot of I weight. took an arrow to the neck. Okay. <laughs> well, considering that this is Skyrim, you probably could survive that. Everyone was worried that Spyro Trilogy would take too long to finish, so I get to, I guess, to mediate that. They got another studio on board to do, like, the alternate characters oh, and, and stuff it, like that. In that case, it makes It's sense. not like they... Why is that dragon... That dragon's wearing a belt, by the way, and no pants. That guy doesn't have wings. He's got prosthetic wings. I... There's a lot of things going on with him. <laughs> okay. Prosthetic wings. I... Never thought I'd... He lost them... He lost them in the war. In the war? This war or the other war? The war. Cool. Alright. Sounds good to me. <laughs> War is never good. It never changes. Yeah. Except for, you know, you'll, different you'll, weapons and different people and... You'll see, you'll see and now that we've had World War One. why do you keep calling it that? <laughs> 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 Man, you know, World War Two was such a cash-in sequel, where World War One, <laughs> it was all about, like, moral ambiguity and no side is right. 
And in and hiding in trenches for months on end. Yeah, and in World War World War Two, they just dropped all ambiguity about the bad guys. Like they're just cartoonishly evil, you know. <laughs> and and you know, it's just they they had to bring they the, the ending was such a cheat too. Like bringing in what that that America that stupid country and just retconning it to be this badass that can wipe up the <laughs> second half of the war by itself. Like please, what sloppy writing? I mean, come on. I mean, hi historians recount why World War II happened. There was just a couple people in a boardroom, and they were like, "Listen, if World War One was so good, why uh, is there no? We, World we need to make a sequel. We got to make a sequel. Yeah." I am so sorry for to the memory of all the people who have actually died. In we World are Wars. going to die one day in a horrible nuclear holocaust, and, so, and the only living archives is going to be this fucking part of this commentary. <laughs> And that's it. History is written. That's how I figured. That's how I figured I would go. Yeah. <laughs> Fire Nice. Yeah. Fire Nice is a decent game. Not a great one, but a decent one. Yeah, it's, it's mm. decent. It's a decent game. Not necessarily a good Sonic game, but whatever. You uh, know what constitutes a good Sonic game is different. Some, for some, something that though. plays Sonic vaguely Sonic-ish. And to me, Ted, what you just said right there will always be that blue fucker's problem. No, it, of course, you'll never make everyone <laughs> if it's happy. If it's not Sonic 2, yeah. it's trash. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Even even the Sonic <laughs> Adventure you. games had more... If Sonic 2 is so good, then where's Sonic 2? Even Sonic the Sonic <laughs> Adventure games had more of what made the previous games in the series good than a lot of what came after them, you know? So, generally... I'll... If Pocket Adventure is so good, where's Pocket Adventure 2? If Sonic 06 is so good. Hey, we do have a Sonic 07. We have a Sonic 62. Excuse you, Ryan. We have a Pocket Adventure 2. It's called Sonic Mania. So there. He's, He's not, not wrong. wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I think it's very hard to fit Sonic uh, a Sonic Mania running switch into your pocket. All right. That, that thing is huge. Okay. Just wait for the inevitable. You got to get board. bigger pants. Bigger pants. Uh, wait for the Are inevitable Nintendo fat? Switch Micro. Okay. I'm calling the Switch fat. Oh, okay. That's fair. <laughs> Just wait for the Switch micro. There you go. We're not these kids. You mean like P H A T fat? Welcome to Wizard Peak. Yo, bro, the Switch is fat. Or, or, or Michael Jackson fat. Michael or, uh, Jackson. Sorry, Weird Al fat. No, Weird Al, Weird Al, Weird Al. <laughs> like, what? I missed Michael that Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson metal. <laughs> <laughs> I got my wires crossed. <laughs> You know, you notice you never see Michael Jackson and Fat Albert in the same room. Oh my time. god! <laughs> one is real, and one is uh, one is Michael one Jackson. Is Fat and one is Fat Albert. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Spyro the Dragon is a game that released in 1998 for the Sony PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Since the mid 2000s, Spyro the Dragon's had a rough career. In 3D. Oh my god! Every I I want to die. That was all. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since the switch to 3D, Crash Bandicoot has had a hard time. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Didn't have more of a hard time after the switch to 2D on the Game Boy Advance, though. Oh, apparently that game's not <laughs> terrible. Yeah, you know, uh, one of them isn't terrible. Yeah, the uh, the, the big adventure is actually the, yeah, the one, actual one, one that tries to kind of be weird. like. Crash isn't bad. Well, one, the, one, one of them's not terrible. I think the there's there's two well, that are good. Then there's the it's, Spyro Crash it's like, crossover shit. Yeah, the crossover. There's the Huge Adventure is good. Entranced is good. Spyro Orange and Crash Purple are abominations. Um, if I remember, you did a video on them. Now that I'm thinking about it, they were I just, probably I probably yeah I think I talked about them. They were just <laughs> mini game know, collections. I, don't know, I lost track. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> I have a YouTube channel. I don't know. <laughs> They were just mini game collections, weren't they? Yeah, uh, and they're gar they're garbage. Like the first thing when Spyro and Crash meet, the first thing they do is they have like a Molotov cocktail fight on top of a bridge. Oh god, I just realized like the Spyro and Crash crossover was like Mario and Sonic at the Olympics without the Olymp Olympics. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, but you see, wrong. it's it's worse than that because they could have a kid could have saw that on the shelf. And thought, wow, my two favorite characters are crossing over, and then played it, and then they're disappointed. At yeah, least Mario one of those kids did. That was me. I got that game when I was a kid, getting excited. I didn't. Know. <laughs> At least Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games had the courtesy to make sure that you weren't going to get your hopes up just by looking at the box. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's, it's a fair point. Uh, it's a very fair point. And like, they had the gall to announce that like two days before April Fools. 
So that picture came out, and you're like, Haha, good joke, and Sega's like, you thought. <laughs> the fact that that's also one of the best-selling series now on, like, the on Nintendo platforms is also just baffling, too. Like, I mean... It helps it was on the Wii. Well, well you know, I, mean, sure. I have nothing against cheap, easily sold um, uh, minigame collections if they fund good games in the future, which seems to have happened with at least one of those franchises. Well, now here's the thing, though. What? I actually... <laughs> Mario's I act never been the same since his jump to 3D. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, yes. But the thing is, I like minigame collection games. Like, you know, I like Mario Party. The first Rayman Rabbids is a good game. But I don't like the mini games in Mario and Sonic at all. Like I think they're they're too long and the motion controls just are not super fun. They don't Dope. make the the games any more interesting. Oops. You know, the like, winter one is really good. Eh, I I played mostly the summer one, the 2008 Beijing one. Yeah. So no, winter 2010 and Beijing 2012. I think those are those are pretty good. I think that London 2012. London. Was or it? London 2012. I, I yeah. mean, I'm not an uh, Olympics. Aspect, I'm not so. kept up with the canon. It's hard <laughs> enough keeping up with Kingdom Hearts. I can't keep up with the Olympics too. Are we still in the Michael Phelps arc? <laughs> <laughs> they need a nerd. Felt, they did, you know, there, there's just been so much power creep in the Olympics lately. It's ridiculous, you know. Yeah, and the uh, the the doping filler. Arm and then they added time travel. Didn't do anything. They just got know? rid of one of the best villains with the Russians, you know, and it it yeah. just what that what are they trying to fill it with? <laughs> there there really Phelps should not. Thirteen versions of himself. There really should not have been another transformation <laughs> after Sage Mode. I. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging that, John. <laughs> I'm glad someone heard me. Oh, it's like, it's like, it's like Michael Phelps. It's like I'm already half it's like, what, what the fuck am I playing? <laughs> and why can't I put it down? Oh my god. When, when does Sean White get to have his transformation sequence? All right. He already <laughs> is in his transformation sequence. Have you seen his hair? <laughs> oh wait. So he's listen. Like if the Olympics are so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically what you're saying is he's well, he's a super saiyan who's been in like the, the hyperbolic time chamber for the last half season. Is, is, yeah, basically. Is right? Yeah, he's mastered the art of staying uh, in form. It, you know, the women never do anything in the Olympics. It's, you, you wonder why <laughs> those characters are even there. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> You Listen, see, it's funny Sean because the happens Saiyan in God, anime and in real life. Let, let, let's not go there. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, oh. ch ch changing power levels to shaggy memes now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Breaking case of emergency, and it's just Ultraist and Shaggy in the background. One of my favorite Fuck. Smash Brothers images that I've seen is uh, it's Wii Fit Trainer, and he's like, okay, gang, looks like there's a mystery on our hands. And then there's Peach, Daisy is Velma, uh, Zelda is Daphne, Duck Hunt Dog is Scooby, and then you just see uh, Ken with the final smash aura oh. being Shaggy. Yeah. It is, oh, yeah. Double <laughs> KO. It is and, he's in, yeah, and he's in his green outfit. <laughs> Double <laughs> KO. Are we just going to not comment on that? <laughs> uh, I mean, is Spyro in the Olympics? Not yet. Well, not with that performance. He just there's a there's an alternate universe where Crash and Spyro at the Olympic Games happened instead, you know, where the the Mario series just couldn't handle the jump to 3D, you know, <laughs> and nobody. Oh, yeah, 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 there was there was Mario Blue and Sonic Red. Uh, <laughs> oh, gross. Oh. I would like to see fan art of Mario and Sonic just tossing Molotov cocktails at each other. <laughs> 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 that's it, that's it, that's it, the Spyro in Crash the Russo. Mario game. has to be in his bling from that one, from that one image that was making the rounds a while ago. Oh yeah, the, 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 the rapping yeah. video. Wait, yeah. Mario was in a rapping video? Hold oh, the I phone. forgot about that, yeah. Wait, you're gonna need to explain this one to me, cause... <laughs> you probably seen the gif. Uh, I think it's like from the DDR game in Japan or something. Oh, he's got well, like he's you see, got I like played a lot of Mario and... DDR though. You see, Mario actually Mario canonically has a tattoo also. <laughs> no, <laughs> he got it removed. In, he got it removed before Odyssey in that case though. Oh, did, oh yeah. Because he doesn't. There's a Game Boy Advance. Game. There's like a Game Boy Advance magazine ad where he has like he lifts up his this tribal tattoo. <laughs> yeah, he's thing. a tribal tattoo on his sleeve. <laughs> Mario Mario's became, pretty edgy. Mario became more conscientious of ethnic cultures by the time Mario Odyssey came out. Okay. 
So Spyro the Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Spyro the Dragon had a tough time after switching developers. <laughs> As we all know, the classic games on GBA were really good, but those PlayStation games were pretty rocky. Uh, uh, well, yeah, they had mountain levels in them. You see right there. There's, there's a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks in our immediate view. Pretty There's rocky. a lot of blue on the screen. You know what else is blue? Sonic. Just a bunch of ripoffs. There you go. Yeah. Something something movie design? Question mark. Spyro. How about Spy? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> or when the um. I give this game a spy yes out of ten. Or we what? or you unlock the secret <laughs> skill in uh, Team Fortress Two where the spy and the pyro do the fusion dance and you can play a Spyro. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. Has anybody ever made like a realistic Spyro design at any point? You know, uh... isn't that Skyliner? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you know? Okay, so fun fact: the design for Spyro and Skylanders actually isn't Spyro. They literally had already made a Red Dragon beforehand, and at some point they said, "Okay, we're gonna put Spyro in this game." They just took whatever that dragon was, colored and her made purple. purple. And that was it. That was that was Spyro. It's like there's a baby. There's a baby Spyro in Skylanders too. There's huh. a baby Spyro. Yeah, what? and it's terrifying. Does it does it drive out a go kart? No, <laughs> it's called like Spry or something. Oh, it was dumb. So it was did he end franchise. up having sex with the girl dragon? That's from... up for your interpretation. Okay, because the Spyro, because there, there's other Spyro characters in Skylanders too, like Hunter and Moneybags, are in it as well. It's bizarre. And does he stop? Does, does he stop you before playing the game and charge you to buy the toys? No, but Invader Zim is the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, 